A TikTok fitness influencer who goes by the name of Jessica Bacoli, she has been exposed by her husband for committing DV against him. These videos may be distressing to some people, so just a quick trigger warning for DV. I caught him liking a bunch of girls' f***ing pictures, so right. he got f***ing butthurt about it. No, right, 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 shut up. Anything. He videotaping it. I am. This is the for my own safety. Okay, cool. Yeah, you want to delete that Stop. shit? I will literally call the fucking cops on you right. So in the first video, she is seen trying to hit this man over him liking Instagram photos. Now, this may be a boundary in your relationship that you you don't mess with. You do not like your partner liking posts of other women and that's fine. But what is not okay is going up to somebody and hurting them for doing this. Not only do you feel the need to scream and yell, but you're hurting this guy for liking Instagram pictures. And what's even worse is that some psychotic women are under this post saying, girls, that's so me. This isn't funny. And the funny thing is, about this is that if this were a man doing it to a woman for liking Instagram photos, could you imagine what these same girls would be saying? Like, what is wrong with y'all? And then as you saw in the second clip, she is seen literally breaking this guy's fan and then saying that she's gonna call the cops on him for recording her. Now, here's the thing. She went live a couple of days ago and she had this to say about the entire situation. Listen guys, I'm so sorry. I get it. I was wrong. I'm owning what I did. Like I'm, you know, it's hard to do that. Please don't harass me, okay? Please understand that there's always two sides to every story and I have no excuse for how I acted. I'm so sorry and I'm so embarrassed. We get into terrible fights and it, they usually start because of shit he's done. So she gets a lot of attention from men and this guy is jealous of that supposedly. I think he's just jealous because I get a lot of attention. <laughs> The fact that this guy, her husband, Jessica's husband, had to record this for his own safety is very, very alarming because this is not the first time that it has happened, it seems. And what is even more concerning is the fact that, you know, he thinks that nobody would have believed him if he came out and said, you know, this buff chick is abusing me. Men would have just laughed at him, but it's exactly what's happening over on TikTok. Not only are men laughing at this man for being abused by his wife, but there are comments, she's just being a dummy mommy. I don't see a problem, I need her. And that's another issue with this kind of stuff. Like you need serious therapy if you think that she's just being a, a dominant mommy. Like you're actually in the head for real. Because if the genders were swapped and it was the other way around, none of y'all would be saying this. In fact, the guy would be getting canceled everywhere as he should be. But the same thing should happen when a woman is exposed for being a toxic, abusive piece of shit. And that is exactly why I'm doing this video today because she has been very, very strange about this whole ordeal. And I think she wouldn't have expected to be exposed by her husband like this. But I'm sorry, if I was going through the same thing, I would want to get some footage of it too. Now, I wanna address another set of comments that people are saying and are saying like, why didn't he get up and fight her back? Because you, you're just not supposed to do that to a woman, no matter what. I mean, personally, I don't believe in violence, but if you're gonna fight me, I'm gonna fight you back, no matter what gender you are. It's just really sad because of what everyone Everyone is saying it's mostly really toxic men who are calling him weak for not getting up and fighting her back. I'm glad that he got this on film and I'm glad that he got somebody to release it for him. I don't actually know how these videos were released. I don't know. I can't believe we live in this age where it's just like you have two sides. You have girls who are saying this is so me, like what a queen. And then guys were like, I need her. She's such a dominant mommy. Like both of you guys need 
in therapy 100% because when I saw this, I got scared for the guy because I was like, I don't, I can't imagine myself. I can't picture myself in a situation like that because I'm either fight or flight. You know, I either freeze up or I just go at it. So with that being said, absolutely abhorrent situation and resources to DV places will be down in the description box below. We need to spread awareness as much as possible for men who are victims of DV as well as women, as well as anybody. This is awareness for DV and nobody should go through this at the hands, especially of their partner. It's really, really disgusting her being, you know, victim blaming. And yeah, I, I just hope she receives the consequences that are due for her. So with that being said, that is all we have for today. If there are any other updates on this situation, I will definitely let you guys know. And with that being said, I will see you all soon. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.